When this eight-year-old boy saw his dad collapse, he took decisive action. Landon Coulson seems to be a typical eight-year-old boy. He lives with his mother, Hope Hersey, his father, and his siblings in Warner, New Hampshire. Little did he know that his bravery would be tested in the most tragic of circumstances. Now, all children learn a variety of skills while studying at school, and Coulson is no different. He attends the Simons Elementary School in Warner and was in the fourth grade at the time of his father's collapse. The incident took place on Saturday, September 29, 2018, which was a day that no doubt began like any other. The Coulson family were making the most of their weekend by playing outside together. However, things soon took a turn for the worse. As any parent knows, you always have to keep one eye on your children, and you always have to be prepared to jump into action if needed. But in this case, Hersey noticed that something was awry with her children's father instead. Hersey was outside with her children and Coulson's father at the time. I asked him if he was okay, she told WMUR News in October 2018. He said yes, went over and he fell on the side of the shed. My kids ran over and he was unresponsive when I got to him. Hersey then sprang into action and did what any other person would do, namely ran off to ring the emergency services. Instead of just waiting there while his mother did this though, Coulson decided to step in and try to help himself. As his father lay there unresponsive, Coulson made the decision to do something that few people would have expected a boy of his age to know how to do. He carried out emergency CPR on his dad in an attempt to save him. Speaking to WMUR News, Coulson described how he was feeling at the time. I'm like, Dad, stay with me. I know it's going to be okay. You're just going to go to the hospital and I know you're going to be better someday, he said. When faced with a stressful situation, even adults can freeze, and that's what makes this young boy's bravery even more amazing. Not only did he have the skills to perform CPR, but he also had the confidence to spring into action as soon as he was needed. Coulson's ability to perform CPR and remain calm in order to handle a situation like this took his mother by surprise. I have never seen this child as calm and cool and collected, she said. He was far more calm than I was. While Coulson carried out his life-saving act, the emergency services were making their way to the scene. Once they came on the scene, Coulson stepped aside and let the experts do their jobs. And despite his collapse, the prognosis for Coulson's dad was reportedly good. Now, consider the fact that Coulson's mom was unable to perform CPR and instead called emergency services. It begs the question, where did this eight-year-old learn such an important skill? The answer is simple. Coulson learned CPR where he learns the majority of his skills, at school. Staff at the Simmons Elementary School showed Coulson and his classmates how to do it. My nurse and my health and gym teacher taught us how to do it, he explained. Although Coulson's ability to perform CPR may have saved his father's life, it isn't a skill that's learned universally in New Hampshire. And Coulson's mother wants to change this. She believes that every student should have the chance to learn this invaluable procedure. The eight-year-old hopes he can use his life-saving skills in his future career, too. Coulson told the reporter that when he's older, he would like to become a member of the emergency services himself, either as a doctor or firefighter. This isn't the only time an incident like this has happened. Indeed, there are many examples of young children coming to the rescue of their parents. In March 2018, for example, firefighter Paul Rollins was given CPR by his 13-year-old son, Joe. Paul had fallen unconscious after their kayak had capsized off the coast of Anglesey, Wales. In another case, CJ Saul's giver saved his mother's life when she had a heart attack in March 2013. The sixth grader heard his mother call out for him when he arrived home from school, but by the time he reached her, she had fallen to the ground and was no longer breathing. He then dialed 911 and carried out CPR. Saul's giver had attempted a CPR training course with his parents a few months earlier, so he knew exactly what to do. The boy, who is from Roy, Utah, was given a firefighter badge by the city fire chief, Jason Polson, as a way to honor his bravery. Colson, too, was thanked by his local police and fire department for stepping up and performing emergency CPR on his dad. And the eight-year-old gave an endearing reply when asked if he understood how brave his actions were. Yeah, he said, I think I'm a hero.